I say this, and then I piss off a lot of people who are very pro-Trump, but I'm really worried that, uh, you know, because, again, I, you know, I don't have a dog in the hunt for either individual. I just like policies, right? And particularly, I like national security issues and, and homeland security concerns and things like that. You can't really argue that the Republicans are the, the, the party of, of small government or fiscal responsibility anymore. But I think certainly for border uh, concerns, for national security, I'm, I'm definitely on that side. Um, so I'm worried that, you know, Trump is, is he's got a ceiling, Right? He's got he's got all the people who are always going to vote for him. There's no doubt about that. But you don't really have to care about them. Well, you do care about them, but you don't have to worry about them. Right? That ceiling only gets higher and allows him to win if he gets some of those moderates and the undecideds. The people well, who, I think that's yeah. where RFK Jr. comes in. It could be. And Tulsi yeah. Gabbard now as Tulsi well. Gabbard. Yeah, what do you think yeah. about that? That's interesting. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, a Democrat... Senator for she was a congresswoman for yeah. eight years. Yeah, I think she could actually move Not the needle senator. more than than RFK Jr. But she definitely yeah. moves the needle, yeah. you know. And I think maybe either one of those would be a great choice for vice president. Which I was kind of surprised she went with Vance. I think yeah. Trump and RFK Jr. together would be a wild ticket. <laughs> That's a wild. It would definitely ticket. be a wild ticket. That's a yeah. wild yeah. ticket. I don't know that it would. I don't know that it would have opened the door for a victory. Uh, and look, I like. I like RFK Jr. because I think that, you know, he he believes what he believes, and, and that's hard to find anymore. As I always said this about Bernie Sanders, right, which is crazy, but I at least appreciate the fact that Bernie Sanders is consistent yeah. in his socialist beliefs. And his, right. You know, uh, but um, but I think uh, – I, was J.D. Vance the best choice? Eh, I don't know. I mean, he's Ohio. Were we in danger of losing Ohio? Uh, I don't think so, but – um, I think yeah. Trump likes a weak middle act. Mm. I don't think, you know, as a headliner, I don't think he wants someone to upstage him. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot of comics like that. Yeah. They take a guy in the row with them. You want him to do okay, but yeah. not great. Yeah, I don't want exactly. I don't want to be back there and hear yeah. the standing ovation. Yeah. yeah, Ron White will fire a, a strong middle act. <laughs> he tells me. He's open about it. He talks about it all the time. Uh, I want to yeah. be the funniest person on that stage. And if I'm not, you got to go. <laughs> I love the honesty. Yeah, oh, yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe that was maybe that was it. But I, I, I was puzzled. I thought he might pick a female for his uh, running mate. Yeah, I thought so too. Maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think maybe he's worried about, you know, some Republican men don't want a female, or some people that are on the fence don't want a female. Yeah. Yeah. It depends. If it was a hot female. Um, like who? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Whoa. Yeah. I don't think she's voting Republican. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> she's not gonna. <laughs> she's gonna not gonna flop over to the other side. Well, it's very difficult to get people to switch teams. Yeah. yeah. Especially when the guy the other side is someone like Trump. You know, if you have someone who's like a little bit more balanced, like a Vivek, let's say Trump didn't exist and Vivek makes mm -hmm. it to the, like, that's a much more reasonable person for most people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very, he's got great temperament. He's really good at staying calm in, in the middle of like heated debates and recognizing a person's point and then adding on to it. I think he's Right. Amazing at it. Yeah, he's much more, and he also he he sounds more familiar in the sense that he's you know he's eloquent about when he when he talks. Right? I was surprised talks, that yeah. Trump didn't pick him as VP. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I, he didn't want it. He said he didn't want to be VP. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he wants to be president, and he feels like this is not the time if he doesn't get the nomination. But yeah, yeah. That guy's brilliant. He's. I think he said that. Didn't Trump say that he's going to put Gabbard and uh, and RFK Jr. on? Uh, on his campaign, st on his, uh, on his advisory, st uh, something. It was it was more than just like an advisor or something like that. It was a, it was a fairly senior role in the campaign. Um, yeah. So well, they're yeah. out there with him. Yeah. So it, it seems like that's the case, and that's a that's a wise move on his part. Yeah.